In just nine days, Coley McCraney, the man convicted of killing two Northview High School teenagers in 1999, will appear in court asking for a new trial in his case. The state filed a motion in court to quash or reject the defense's subpoenas with the Dale County Circuit Clerk's Office to compel all jurors who served on the case to give a testimony about their service as jurors during McCraney's case. Now, a jury found McCraney guilty of four counts of capital murder and sentenced him to life in prison without the chance of parole. The state proved to the jury that J.B. Beasley and Tracy Hollett were headed to a party in Headland in the summer of 1999, but got lost in Ozark. McCraney held them at gunpoint at a gas station, led them to another location, raped Beasley, forced the two girls into the trunk of the car, and shot each of the girls once, and then abandoned the car on Herring Avenue in Ozark. McCraney's attorneys feel that there was juror misconduct during the trial and that jurors were on their phone for in a trial that lasted nearly two weeks, even though they were told not to get on their phones. In their response to the motion to quash, McCraney's attorneys say that the jurors should testify because a court may take testimony from the jury regarding misconduct whenever it occurs during pretrial or during the trial itself. Instead, misconduct may be proven by juror testimony alone. Judge William Fillmore will likely rule on this motion to quash before the hearing to decide the possibility for a new trial for McCraney.